Assalamu alaikum in this video I will perform my lab number 11 of DLD which is implementation of circuits of D flip flop and JK flip flop along with it I will also create SR flip flop and master slip flip flop <coughs> so first of all we have a JK flip flop uh, and the truth table for the JK flip flop is given here in which we can see that uh, state uh, 0 1 gives us our output 0 1 and then 1 0 gives us 1 0 the state 0 0 holds the memory position and the 1 1 uh, input input toggles the uh, outputs and uh, here we have the circuit diagram for the JK flip-flop and I implemented this on the Proteus here and let's stop first of all stop the simulation here and now so first of all we can uh, Okay, so first of all we have this position here 0, uh, 1, 0 and from the truth table we saw that at, uh, one, at 1, 0 the output is 1, 0 so here we can the output is 1, 0 if we change the state to uh, 0, 1 we can see the output is 0, 1 and uh, if I change both the states to 0, 0 and you can see the state has uh, uh, hasn't changed so the memory position, memory uh, uh, memory state is now active which means that it is holding the value the previous value previous state and then uh, here I am changing my uh, uh, here I am changing my K state and then my J state again now here you can see that uh, the states are 0 1 and if I make the J1 which means I will have the state 1 1 which should toggle the input so output so our 0 should be changed to 1 here as we can see in the truth table our Q becomes Q0 of the previous state so here I will make it 1 and we can see that the output has uh, toggled next we have uh, is here a uh, D flip flop the truth table for D flip flop is here Do in D flip flop we have only one input data input and um, um, for which we have the value 1 or 0 and we have the clock and the output is either is 1 0 or 0 1 we have no other state here so let's look at the D flip flop which is I have created here so you can see the input here D and the output here so you can see when the input is 1 we have the output 1 0 as given in the truth table and now if I change the output here input here sorry to 0 the output we can see is 0 1 here so this is how the D flip flop is working here and then we have uh, our SR flip flop here so here you can see I have the truth table for SR in which we have when the 0 0 state which is uh, previous state means there will be no in the output there will be no change when it is a memory state it will hold the previous state and then uh, we have here is the state 0 1 at which the Q output will be 0 which is the reset and and when the input is 1 0 our output will be 1 which is the set state and at the output at when the input is 1 1 so this input is forbidden at this uh, input the flip flop becomes unstable so let's look at this so here is the SR flip flop so initially we have this uh, input here uh, 0 1 we can see S is 0 R is 1 and we can see that the output when S is 0 R is 1 is uh, Q 0 which is a reset and we can see that Q is 0 here then if I change the states to 1 0 we can see that the output is also changed to 1 and uh, if I make both them 0 then it should hold the this state 1 0 so you can see when I have changed uh, the inputs to 0 0 the output state is, output is holding its state to 1 0 and lastly we have the master D master slave flip flop here here we can see is the uh, master part of the uh, master D flip flop and here is the slave D flip flop now moving on to the T master slave uh, here I have given the input 1 and we will wait for the clock cycle 5 seconds and we can see the output is 1 
and when I change the input to 0 then we will see there will be a change in the output and it will come to 0 and the main reason of the master step is that it works uh, in a way that for the positive cy half cycle the master part will be wor working and for the negative half cycle the slave part will be working this will result in uh, give, giving us a output waveform which will be having no glitches so that is all from this lab thank you and Allah Hafiz